Record numbers of sea turtles return to Sarasota County beaches this year. Researchers say it's evidence conservation efforts are working, but hatchlings still face some serious risks. News Channel 8's Allison Henning has the story from City Island. This area is home to one of the longest continuous sea turtle monitoring efforts in the country. And after decades of conservation work, things are trending in the right direction. But researchers at Moat say there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. For more than four decades, Moat Marine Laboratory has tracked sea turtle nests from Longboat Key to Venice. This year, they documented more than 5,700 nests. That's the highest ever recorded and up by more than 1,300 over last year. It's really cool to see not only um, the numbers increase and increase and increase, but also that citizen science and conservation efforts are working. But with more nests came more hatchlings trying to figure out where they're going. Moat recorded 716 disorientations this nesting season, the most in their 43-year recording history. It can happen when artificial lights pull hatchlings and sometimes nesting turtles away from the water. It's frustrating because it's something that we can fix. Um, and if we ask our neighbors to turn off their lights or we ask businesses to, to change their lights, um, we'll, see a dis we'll see a decrease. And when hatchlings crawl toward roads or parking lots, the outcome can be deadly. While we do uh, look for disorientations and we try and make sure that we get all the hatchlings that we can find, um, sometimes they, they don't make it. Moat says the solution is simple. Darker beaches mean safer turtles. Staff at Moat, along with more than 300 volunteers, will start their monitoring again in mid-April. Reporting in Sarasota, Allison Henning, 8 on your side.